Hello everyone, welcome back to Key Comics Market Watch. I'm happy to have y'all back for another haul video. Uh, now, this stuff right here is stuff that I just recently got. Um, I actually uh, saw a Facebook ad and I uh, was very happy, a uh, Facebook market uh, ad uh, for some comics. And the comics on the ad were for some Captain America books. Uh, it was like one Silver Age book and the rest of them were like Bronze Age and Modern. Um, so uh, the price definitely was right, but I was worried about the condition. So I uh, called him, asked him when I could set up the dates. I mean, not called him, but uh, text messaged him and found out when I could meet up with him and we met up. And I have to say, I uh, was pleasantly surprised that... Um, it was someone that I already bought stuff from before. Uh, in fact, I got some great deals from him before. So was happy to, to, to see that it was another, the same seller. And he remembered me uh, when I came, I went with my daughter uh, the last time that I bought stuff from him. My daughter was with me. So he remembered my daughter and we just had a good conversation. Just, you know, talking about everything that's going on with this uh, coronavirus and stuff. And uh, yeah, I um, looked at the Captain Americas. They weren't to my liking as far as the condition, so I passed. But he also, he was like, well, I got some more books in the back that I'm thinking about getting rid of. So he was like, you can look at those. So I was like, bet, you know, because I definitely got some great books from him last time. So went to the back and was pleasantly surprised, y'all. But before I show anything, have to... Make sure if you're under 13, you got to skedaddle. This video is for 13 year olds and up, okay? So if you're under 13, you got to skedaddle, okay? All right, you guys. And remember, uh, check out Keep It Thorough, um, uh, Keep It Thorough's uh, uh, YouTube channel. Go check them out. Subscribe to them. Try to get them to 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible. But subscribe to him because he does auctions. And I will I most likely will be on that auction this Saturday. I was on there, uh, not this Saturday, but the Saturday before. So sold some great books. You can get some great deals, man. They have every type of book you can think of is being sold at these auctions. So uh, definitely, definitely check out Keep It Thorough's um, YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, subscribe to him and check out the um, auction. The auction usually starts between 7 or 8. So definitely subscribe to him. And once again, I asked my no skip ad crew, what's up, you guys? Thank you so much for not skipping the skippable ads. And I always ask you not to skip the skippable ads because I'm a small channel for all you new subscribers. And since I'm a small channel, when you skip the ad, I don't get the ad revenue. And that's basically the money that I need for the channel. So Thank you, everyone, for not skipping the skippable ads. Now, if you want to skip the ads and still support the channel, I don't have a Patreon. Instead, I have a Cash App. You can donate to my Cash App. Here goes my handle right here. Just go to Cash App, put in the money sign with the name, donate whatever you want. Like I said before, even a dollar will help. I mean, I got over 2,000 subscribers. If even half of my subscribers gave me a dollar, that'd be a 1,000 right there. So it's always about the numbers so um even a dollar makes a difference you guys especially right now with this coronavirus i'm a lift driver business has been kind of bad and people aren't tipping even though i'm out there risking my life of getting this virus um i've actually met so many people that um i've met a lot of nurses um that have been telling me the horror stories and telling me you know that they know people that got it themselves personally and then i've met a lot of passengers that have people that they know that have their relatives. So, yeah, this is real. It's not a hoax. Um, so, everyone, please be safe out there. If you don't got to go outside, don't go outside. That's all I got to say. Um, I don't have no choice. I'm kind of essential. Um, you know, we're the ones that make sure that the nurses and all the people that work at essential places like grocery stores and all that, that have to stay open. We're the ones that drive them around when they need to get home or go to work so um you know we're, we're kind of essential because the metro and the bus and all that stuff has slowed down to a crawl so public transportation is like it's 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 no point you know so uh people aren't taking public public transportation so yeah um so definitely anything helps you guys uh and if 
you uh, are new to signing up the Cash App, when you sign up, use this as your referral code and you'll automatically get $5 for free. And I'll get $5 for free. So that's a great way to donate also, you guys. So thank you, everyone. Uh, let's get on with this haul. All right, you guys. So like I said, was very happy when I went to the back. Um, now, I paid $160 for everything you're about to see. And $160 to me was such a great deal. He cut me some great deals. Man, I couldn't believe, uh, you know, how, how generous he was being. Um, and I appreciate it, definitely. He um, He's just a great dude anyway. I mean, we really had good conversation. I, I wound up going, the first day that I picked all this stuff out, I didn't have the money on me because I didn't bring that much. I only brought what I thought I was going to pay for the Captain America a lot. So I told him I'll come back the next day. Uh, just We added up the total, and I was like, I'll be back the next day um, with the money to, to pick it up. And so three days had passed because uh, something happened the next day where I couldn't come. And then Thursday, I definitely couldn't come. And Friday, I finally made it out there to see him. No, was it Friday or Saturday? I don't remember. It just was so many days that passed by where we just, oh, no, what happened was Friday, I was on my way, but... It was really late, and he had just got off work doing stuff, and he was just like, we'll wait till tomorrow morning. I was like, bet. So I saw him Saturday morning. That's what it was. So Saturday morning, I went up there. We was kicking the bobo, you know, just conversating. like. Um, and I told him, I said, even after we did the deal, I, I made sure. we had, He has my number. I, have my, I told him, man, just keep in contact just to make sure he good because, um, you know, him and me are about the same age, and, you know, this virus is serious. It's really attacking the older people. Um, so, you know, so I told him, just keep in touch. Let me know he good. Plus, he works in the post office in the building. So, um, you know, just you just don't know who, which worker might, you know, there's already a couple of postal workers, he said, that have it. So um, definitely just told him, just let me know he I you know, because I, you know, even though we made a sweet deal at the same time, man, he's a he was a great dude. And I was just like, man, and, you know, just, just, you know, let me know what's going on with you. You know what I'm saying? So let me show you what I got you guys. I know you're ready for the books. And I just want to say, man, make sure you stay safe out there. And I hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, over here in Washington, D.C., we on lockdown. Um, not 100% lockdown, but now they want us to start being in the house at 8 by 8 p.m. <laughs> so it's getting serious out here, you guys. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and, you know... I haven't talked about what's been going on with the comic book market, but uh, the comic book market definitely has um, gone down because, you know, there ain't as many buyers or sellers right now. So if you're a buyer, definitely right now is the time to be buying um, because you're going to get the sweet deal. So just like I feel like I got a sweet deal. Um, so let me show you what I got, you guys. All right, so the first book I got was uh, Prince Bamber the Submariner, number 14. This is the first Silver Age appearance of Toro. And supposedly he dies in this issue also. But you never know. I don't think he died. I think, in fact, he came back in another issue, if I remember. I think in West Coast Avengers. Was that was that when John Byrne was doing West Coast Avengers? But I'm not 100% sure. I forgot it's been so long. But yeah, very happy to get it. Now, this book right here, I would say this book is about... Um, uh, it's it's about a 7-0, but it really needs to be cleaned. Like, it definitely needs to be cleaned. Uh, very happy to get it in this condition, though. Hopefully, I can get one in a higher condition in the future, but I didn't have it. I used to have it in my old collection, but don't have it anymore, so just happy to get it again. All right. Then I got Silver Surfer, number 13. This is the first appearance of Doomsday Man, which is this dude right here. This one right here is about a 5 to a 6. Uh, it has a subscription crease down the middle. So, um, But uh, you really don't see it on the front cover, but it's there. Uh, but definitely, definitely was happy to get that. Then I got issue number 17. Now, this one right here is probably the worst shape out of all the Silver Surfers I got so far. Um, but was happy to get it regardless. I was just like, eh. Why not? Especially for the price that he said I could get it for. So I was like, why not? 
All right, very happy to get this one right here, issue number 18. This is the last issue, and it's the first time Silver Surfer versus the Inhumans. So you know how I am about last issues, and I'm devil. I definitely love meetups or verses, first verses, first meetups. So definitely happy about that. Now this is the one that's in the best condition out of all of them. So that that was another thing, but it also has a subscription crease. Uh, so uh, it is what it is. So very happy about that. Then I got uh, Tales to Astonish number seventy seven. Now this one is definitely a very low grade one, but. I got it because it's the first appearance of Behemoth, and it's also the first time that Namor says Imperial Rex, Imperious Rex. <laughs> so, got it because I don't have it, and I was just like, why not? All right. And then I got uh, Avengers 126. Now, this one is a pretty uh, high grade, uh, so I definitely had to get it. Um, very happy. It still needs a cleaning. I would say that. Uh, it does have the Marvel va value stamp in it, so very happy about that. All right, you guys. Then I got Amazing Spider-Man 58. This is, a, I would say it's a, a, about a, a 7.0, grade. Definitely uh, happy to get this. I don't have this one. I used to have it in my old collection, but... Just happy to get it to put in my run. You know how I am about Amazing Spider-Man. I love Amazing Spider-Man. It's not a key, but just the condition of it made me want to get it. Uh, now, this one right here was the one I had to say. Yeah! Now, I don't have this book. This is the 100th issue, anniversary issue. It's uh, other, than, other than that, it's not a key key. But the thing that I love about the fact that I got this is because at first, I wasn't sure, but I know there was a $0.35 cents variant. So when I saw that it wasn't the $0.35 cents price variant, I was like, ah. But then, you know, just looking at the condition of it, the condition is a high grade. So I was just like, you know what? I don't have it. Let me grab it. And for the price he gave it to me was just awesome. But then when I got home and, you know, decided to really look it over even more thoroughly and open it up and look through the book, very happy to find that it was a Mark Jewelers variant. Now I went on eBay right away to see how much the Mark Jeweler variants for this issue are going for. Couldn't find one. Then I looked at past sales, couldn't find one. So I'm like, man. So this is a pretty rare Mark Jewelers variant. So very, very happy about that. I love when I can get something that is really hard, hard to find. So. Very, very high, and especially in this condition. Now, the Mark Jeweler variants were only sold in army bases during this time. Uh, so you can't find them. They're not new. You can't find them anywhere else but the army bases. So that's what made them really rare. My daughter wanted to say hi. That's what made them really rare. And to find them in high grade is really hard because you got to think, on army bases, they weren't selling backboards and bags. So in order for someone to keep it in great shape, they would probably had to go through great lengths to try to keep it in great shape. So I'm pretty sure it was hard. Um, so finding them a high grade are just, it's hard. You know, if you look on eBay and you find Mark Jewelers, most of them are usually mid-grade or lower. Finding them in high grade are really, really rare. So when you find them in a high grade, you need to get them. Trust me on this. Um... And Mark Jeweler variants definitely command a premium. So definitely happy about that. All right. And then I got Iron Man number eight. And this one's in pretty high grade too. Um, it's not a near mint, but I would definitely say it's in the 8.5-ish range, 8.0 8 range. Um, it does have a little dog ear right there that kind of like knocks it down from it being near mint. But it's it's just a, a great, great issue. Now, the reason why I also picked it up, not only was it the condition, but it's the origin issue of Whitney Frost. So, definitely, definitely love origin issues. Origin issues do command money. So, definitely, definitely was happy to put that in my PC. All right, so the next book I got was The Legion of Superheroes, number 300. Now, this book right here uh, doesn't go for much. It usually between the five to ten dollar range, 
Uh, but it's the first cameo appearance of Garfield the Cat in com a standard comic book. So definitely a book that I was happy to finally get. And this one definitely could be a 9.8 candidate. Man, it looks great. I mean, it, it just looks superb. So very happy about that. Now, it's a newsstand, but during this time, I rather would have had the, the direct because this was in the early 80s. Um, so during the early 80s, you want a direct market because they were in lower numbers than the newsstand. Now, uh, later on in the 80s, that's when you want the newsstands and up. All right, so you got, I got Sergeant Furry and the Howling Commandos, number 70. Now, this one is in okay shape. What's messing it up is I got a spine roll, and I need to fix that. Hopefully, I can press it out. Uh, but the reason why I got it, I don't really have too many Sergeant Furries and the Howling Commando books. But I'll be trying to get the keys. This one right here is the first appearance of the Missouri Marauders, which it says right there on the cover. Uh, they've only appeared twice in comic book history, but you know me. I'm going to take, take first appearances, especially if it's a great price. And it's Silver Age. Can't pass up Silver Age for a great price. How can I, you guys? It just, just wouldn't be right if I, if I pass up on Silver Age, especially at a great price. So that's just not... This is not like me, so just not gonna do it. Um, so we got the Uncanny X Men 282. Uh, this is the first cameo, first cover and cameo appearance of Bishop. Uh, so I always try to pick this up whenever I see it. This book in a 9.8 CGC 9.8 always goes for like 150 and up, depending. So I think right now you probably can get it for cheaper if you look. Because, like I said, the market is down, so you might be able to get it cheaper. So, right now, probably is the best time to buy a CGC 9.8 graded copy of that. And that book actually goes for more than the actual first full appearance, which is 283, which doesn't make sense to me. I don't know why the cameo goes for more than the, the full appearance, because sometimes, well, most of the time, the full appearance usually goes for more. But for some reason, with this book, with this character, the cameo goes for more than the first full. So this is the first full appearance of Bishop and is the first full appearance of Game Master. So you have first full appearance and a first appearance in this book, but you only got a cameo and cover on this one. So I always figured this one should be going for more. Does that make more sense to you guys? Or am I just tripping? So, yeah. All right. Then I got in Candy X Men 213. All right, so this is the first cameo appearance of Mr. Sinister. And this is when Bestie Brodak joins the X Men and changes her name to Psylocke. So, definitely a key book, usually a $12 to $15 book. Very happy about that. Near main condition. Another near main condition right here is the Candy X Men 212. Uh, now, this, of course, is. The first Wolverine versus um, Sabretooth in continuity. I mean, well, not continuity, but the first time they fought. Now, the Wolverine issue of his original, of his first ongoing series, I forgot what issue number that is, but that's the first chronicle in order, first battle of them. But this came out before that book, so... Uh, yeah, and I remember I loved this when it came out. I, I've read this like a million times over and over again. I love this book. It definitely is about a $20 book. All right, you guys. Then I got uh, in Candy X Men 184. Now, this one right here is the first appearance of uh, Forge. First appearance of Forge. Also, the first appearance of Nays, uh, which is a mentor of Forge. So happy to pick up another one of those. Now this book in a CGC 9.8 usually is like 250. So yeah, Forge is definitely an important character in the X Men universe. Uh, at one time, him and Storm were a couple. So uh, now we got Uncanny X Men 171. Uh, this is when Rogue joins the X Men. I remember when this first came out, and I was a kid. And I loved it. I was just like, I love this issue. And they've done so many cover homages to this cover right here. Love it. I love when Rogue joined the X-Men because on the next issue, 
her and Wolverine go on that mission. And I love that the them two issues, man. They're great. Uh, especially when he's fighting Silver Sam Wolverine's fighting Silver Samurai. Loved it, loved it. All right, and then we got a Marvel premiere uh, featuring Satana, the Devil's Daughter, issue number 27. Now, this is the first solo uh, Satana story. So that's why I bought this book, and it's definitely a key. So very happy about that. Um, definitely a book that's very undervalued right now. I definitely feel that when this character takes off, this is a book that you need to get now. Okay, you guys, now. There's another book you should get now. It's Marvel Premiere number 26. And this is the first solo Hercules story and is the first appearance of Cilia. So definitely, first solo Hercules story. You definitely need to get that first appearance of Hercules in the Thor annual. Uh, definitely need to get that. I definitely don't see how they're not going to bring Hercules and Zeus and all the Olympians into the MCU eventually is gonna happen, no doubt about it. Hercules has too much Hercul uh has too much history in the Marvel universe, so there's no way. So definitely first solo. This is a very underappreciated book right now. You could get it for three, four, five dollars. Like it's cheap. So definitely try to get a high grade of it. ASAP, I'm telling you. Um and then uh I got uh Ghost Ghost Rider and Blade Spears of Vengeance number nine. First appearance of Vengeance. Picked up another copy of that. So very happy about that. Now this book ain't worth too much, but I loved I, I loved the cover to this. They also had a red cover to this one also. But the reason why I picked it up is because when I saw it was a newsstand, I was like, oh man, I don't run into the newsstand copy that often. So when I run into it, I'm going to pick it up. Fantastic Four 371 with the Human Torch. Uh, and it's a newsstand, so just had to grab it, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And then I got Fantastic 481. Now, this one right here is when Crystal joins the Fantastic Four. And this one, I would say, is about an 8 0. So, very happy to pick it up, you guys. And then I picked up Fantastic 444 with the first appearance of Grydon. Now, this one right here has punch holes, three punch holes in it, which, uh, it sucks that it has the three punch holes, but it's in, I have to say, it's in really great shape, man. It, if it was to be cleaned and pressed, man, it definitely would be uh, like a 7-0, 7 maybe. Nah, nah, I wouldn't say that, but the holes, of course, punch it down to knock it down. Regardless, so it's it can never get to that grade even with the cleaning and the pressing because of the punch holes. So, but for the price he was willing to give it to me for, I just couldn't pass it up. And he had another one, so I got two of them. But this one is in a lesser grade. Uh, it doesn't have punch holes in it. Thank God, and it's a complete story and nothing wrong with it. It's just not as higher grade. If it wasn't, you know, like it. It has a date stamp, which is great. I will say that. Uh, but definitely this one needs more love. <laughs> it definitely needs a clean and a pressing. It's definitely a lower, lower grade. I would have to say this is probably like a, a 4.0 at, at best, I would have to say. so. But just happy to get it. So those were all the books I got for $160. What do you guys, th guys think? Do you think I got a great deal? I think I did. Definitely, especially with that Iron Man 100, it being the only one that is available right now as far as a Mark Jewelers, none on eBay, none sold on eBay. So when I find a gem like that, I love it. I love having something that is not available. I put it to you like that. Maybe in the future, there'll be one on eBay, but for now, there's none on eBay. <laughs> there's none that's been sold on eBay. So I love the fact that I have the only copy available right now if I was to just put it on eBay. So I love when I find stuff like that. Stuff like that makes the hunt just great, and I love the hunt, you guys. You know how much I love the hunt. So definitely got to say, and I think I got away with a crime with this deal. So, yeah, I definitely am just so happy, you guys. And um, I hope you guys are out there still hunting. Uh, hopefully you're still uh, you know, bidding on auctions. If you have the available income, 
Now, if you don't have the available income, hey, don't do it, you guys. Definitely is not the time to do it. We don't know how long this is going to continue. Uh, if you're in those states where you're not being affected, congratulations. You know, just keep doing, living your best life. But for, if you're living in the states that's being affected like my state, definitely it's time to hunker down and definitely not overspend and overindulge because we don't know how long this is going to last. And you can't listen to our president because he's, he he just doesn't know what he's talking about. Like, <sighs> he's the same person that said, oh, this is just a hoax. Oh, the, once we had 10 cases, he was like, oh, we'll be down to zero in no time. Oh, you know, he just took it as a joke. And now he's taking it serious, but at the same time, he's still just trying to take credit for it. Finally doing something. Like, I'm like, what the hell? Like, this dude is just, his ego's on a whole nother level, which is just crazy. So, hopefully you guys are just, you know, realizing that, you know, we can't depend on them to tell us the truth about anything. So, you just got to... Continue going out, you know, going outside whenever you can and just seeing what's going around so you can determine if this is starting to finally, you know, come back to normal, which right now it's not. I think we're just at the beginning stages because we're finally starting to get tested. So, um, yeah, I, I feel like we're going to be in this for a while and the economy definitely ain't going to recover overnight. I mean... I don't care what the stock market is doing and saying that that right there is bull. Like what's going on in the stock market is is just ridiculous because it's no way that this economy is going to recover like that. I mean, I know the Fed is just pumping endless money in the market, but you know, it's it's just it's not realistic. The valuations of the companies are not realistic right now. It's just dumb. They're going off evaluations of st still last year off of companies that know they're going to lose money all at least two quarters. So it's crazy for these companies. They still have them same evaluations. Um, so, uh, yeah, you guys. Uh, but enough talk. Thank you, everyone. Uh, definitely, definitely. Um, hopefully you guys are, you know, like I said, finding some great books. And uh, hopefully you're taking this time, you guys and ladies, to go read your comics. Don't get on Netflix, don't get on Disney, don't get on your phone and, you know, just stay on YouTube, even though I would love for you to constantly look at my videos, but take some time out to go read your comics, like, you know, let it take you away from what's going on around you, go, go into the comic book world, go enjoy the awesome art and stories and catch up on a lot of books that you bought. And having read, and now you have that opportunity, take the full advantage of taking this opportunity to read all the books that you've been buying nonstop. Because a lot of y'all that buy just like I buy and don't read, get a chance to read your book. So now's the time to read, catch up. That's what I've been doing. I've been reading some great stories and just admiring some of the just awesome art, man. The art is what... Like the stories I love, but sometimes the art just, I'm just so memorized by how these artists are able to create just such awesome pieces of beauty. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just spectacular. I just love it. I, I really wish I would have had that talent as a young person. Like I, I used to try to draw as a young person and yeah, it was, it was horrible. <laughs> But uh, I, I just, and I used to have a friend that he was just a spectacular artist. Like he had mad talent. And I used to just always be like, dang, I wish I had your talent. And he loved drawing. And I used to just love watching him do it, you know, because it's amazing to see just how you just start with a blank nothing and just create something so amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what I love about comics is the fact that you know, someone had to draw this. Not only did they have to draw it, they had to draw it off a concept of a story. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, the person had to tell them, yeah, this is the story right here. This is what we're going to, this is the story for this week. Now I need you to draw to go with the story. You know what I'm saying? Like that in itself, like, I just really feel artists are like, you know, that draw in the comic books, not just the covers, because it's easy to be a cover artist. I will say that. It's not hard. 
to be a cover artist because you're not telling a story. You just made you draw on the cover. Now you have to tell a little bit of a story on the cover, but to have to tell, but have to draw the whole inside of the story as an artist, that right there to me is special talents right there to do that. To have to take a storyline and actually draw it, you know what I'm saying? And do and you know, just that's that's just amazing to me. That's why I really love my hobby, and I really feel that we can't let this hobby die, man. We gotta keep the LCSs alive. And and like I said in my last video, you know, I'm not too much of a buying the new stuff a lot, but I do try to buy some. But I, I try to support in other ways by buying back issues. And buying comic book bag and boards. If they have food or soda there, I buy that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going 7 Eleven to buy a soda, I'll get one from them, knowing I'm about to go there. So I just like, I'll wait till I get there, buy me a soda from them, you know, buy the comic book boxes, you know, to store our, our comics and, you know, just whatever's in there. If you could buy something else besides the high inflated prices of new books. You can always buy something else, you know, to support the LCS and support them, you guys. We cannot let our hobby die. I mean, we no longer have comics, you know, it, as a newsstand in 7-Elevens and Giants and Barnes and & Noble. You know, we don't have that anymore. That market is gone, you know what I'm saying? So the only market left for comic books is LCS. So we got to support the LCS, everyone. I'm calling for you guys to... To do your part, do your part. I mean, don't just buy from eBay. You know what I'm saying? Go to your LCS and see what back issues they have. Work a deal. They'll work a deal, man. Sometimes you can get a better deal at an LCS than you can on eBay. I mean, I know people love eBay. You know what I'm saying? But you got to support your LCSs. They have back issues, too. They buy collections. They, they could, they'll cut you sweet deals. I've had so many... Sweet deals cut at LCSs. They are in the business of making money and staying afloat. You know what I'm saying? So they're not going to just sit on stuff all the time. There's Every now and then you'll get a LCS where they're so stubborn and they're not willing to negotiate. Now, those LCSs, I have to say to them that they are going to crash and burn and it's going to be their fault because they're not willing to negotiate. So feel no pity for them, but I'm talking about the ones that really are true, true LCSs that are willing to negotiate and they know what they got to do to stay alive and they do everything to stay alive. They're not greedy. You understand what I'm saying? So support your LCSs. And until next time, everyone, as always, happy comic book hunt. Make sure if you're not subscribed to my channel, you hit the Galactus head right here or is it here? Uh, it's, uh, I don't remember. Make sure you check out these two old comic book uh two old videos of mine for some co more comic book goodness make sure you hit that like button oh my gosh you guys you gotta hit the like so i could be put in the rankings because the likes is all they care about in youtube algorithm so hit that like hit that like you guys you're not hitting the like you know just because you like everything i'm saying you're hitting the like because you like the fact that i give this content to you you know what i'm saying it's a lot of I've seen a lot of YouTubers come and go when it comes to comic books. Uh, they've come and they've gone. Uh, I'm telling you, it's a reason for that. So the ones that stayed, you got to support. Support us. The ones that st stuck it out with you guys. So support us all you can by giving that thumbs up. Thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything for the thumbs up. So until next time, everyone. Peace.